Welcome back to the poker vlog. This is episode number 32. For this episode, we're playing day three of the main event. It's a really special episode. I've been looking forward to putting it out. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. In day three today of the main event, coming back with 122,700. Average is probably around 140. We're predicted to make the money after dinner tonight. I think 2,600 people are coming back and 1,080 are, uh, are gonna cash. So it's a big day. Playing the cash today? What do you think? We unbag, get our chip set, and we're ready to go. It's level 11, blinds are 1,000, 2,000 with 300 annies. We don't waste any time. During the second orbit, we get pocket tens on the button. It folds to us, we raise to 4,500. The small blind happened to be the player that I bluffed the night before with ace jack offsuit. He doesn't like to fold much, and he three bets me here to 12,000. The big blind folds, I'm never folding, I call. The flop comes ace jack seven, all hearts. The small blind bets 11,000. I've got a pair and a flush draw, which is good enough to stick around. I make the call. The turn is the 10 of diamonds, boom. The small blind checks, I bet 22,000, he calls. The river is an offsuit five. The opponent checks, I bet 45,000. This time he folds, we take down a nice pot to start the day and are up to almost 175,000. Great way to start, if only we didn't lose every hand after this for the entire level. Kind of a frustrating level. I had great first start, got it up to 175K, and then I just lost a ton of hands after that. Um, one of them was I had king nine and diamonds opened in middle position. The small and big blind both called. Flop came, jack, six, four, two diamonds. Small blind let out for 8,000. Thanks, man. The uh, big blind just called. I raised to 25,000. Small blind folded. Then the big blind raised to 78,000. And uh, I tanked for a long time. Called the clock on me, actually, and then I folded. And then. Just spent a few other hands that are kind of similar. Every time I've kind of been involved in a hand, I've either gotten like three bet pre flop or raised on the flop, and it's just kind of put me in some tough spots. So, unfortunately, nothing changes during the beginning of level 12. I started the level with 105,000, but it quickly goes down to 26,000 after losing with king 10 to ace king in a three bet pot on a king high board. Then, in another hand, I fired two bullets trying to bluff someone after he flopped third pair. This didn't work out too well. So here I am with 10 big blinds and a dream. I look down at ace queen offsuit, it folds to the cutoff, he's got a decent stack and raises to 6,000. The button and the small blind fold, the action is on me and the big blind, not much of a choice here, I shove. After some thought, the cutoff calls and flips over ace three offsuit, so we're in great shape. The dealer puts out 10, 10, seven on the flop, we're a huge favorite now. The turn is a four, just hoping for no three. Damn it. Forgot to hope for no seven or four either. With two pair on the board, we end up chopping it. The good news is we're still alive. The bad news is we don't have much room to work with. I end up going all in preflop with jack 10 offsuit in the small blind, then again with ace deuce of diamonds in the hijack when it gets folded to me. I took down the blinds and annies with those hands and get my stack up to over 40,000. That's when I look down at ace nine of clubs in middle position. I have about 17 big blinds, time to shove again. The player on my direct left looks at his cards, then looks around at the table as if he can't believe his good fortune, and he rejams. Not what I was hoping for. He clearly has a big hand, I'm just hoping it's not aces. When the other players fold, I'm almost relieved to see 
He just has pocket kings. All in a call. Can't close to be a fun card. Oh no. King oh of clubs. <laughs> you called it. Here's the board. That's a good one. Here's the board. Here we are, playing in the biggest event of the year. Our $10,000 buy-in is on the line. It's all come down to this moment. We're a huge underdog with only eight outs and just the river to come. You gotta be kidding. Alligator blood, man. After a mini heart attack, we get the double up and have 87,000. That's just for a little while though. They should have busted me when they had the chance because I play a few more hands and run it up to 113,000 before the table breaks. I get seated at a table with multiple big stacks on my left. Blinds are huge, so I don't have much room to get creative. But at this point, I'm just happy to still be alive. I started with 105k that last level. Lost some hands. Tried to bluff someone off third pair on the flop. And then that was impossible. Fired two bullets and uh, just wouldn't fold. Then on the river, we both made a pair of aces. Well, he made two pair. And uh, that was it for me. Well, not it, but I was down to 25K after that. Then I chopped with the ace queen versus ace three. I got it all in. That would have been a nice one to win. Then I sold the blinds a few times and got my stock up to 40K and uh, got it in with ace nine of clubs versus pocket kings. Hit a miracle four of clubs on the river to double up. Then I played pretty well after that, actually. There were two hands back to back where I um, played pretty well against my opponents. Uh, and then now my stack's at 117 or 118. Going into the third level of the day. Got a table change, which is tough because there are just a ton of really good players on my table now, with giant stacks. Um, two to my left, the guy has 600,000 or over 600,000. There's a few other guys with th over 300,000. Everyone else has around 200,000. I'm for sure just the short stack and I just have to make hands, pick my spots, and kind of get lucky because I'm not going to be able to seal the blinds from the opponent who has 600k, two to my left trying to survive now. It's now level 13, blinds are 1,500, 3,000 with 500 annies. 720 people need to bust this thing before we make the money. We've got a short stack of 113,000 and we're trying not to be one of them. Early on in the level, we get involved in a big hand. The largest stack at the table raises to 7,000 from under the gun. I'd seen him raise queen eight suited and some other weak holdings from this position. He was using his big stack to his advantage, putting pressure on every other player at the table. He folds to me and I have pocket deuces in the small blind. I make the call, the big blind folds, the flop comes out 10-4-3 rainbow. I check, the opponent bets 12,000. I've seen him see bet 100% of the time up to this point. Still, it's a fine spot to fold, but I don't. I call. The turn is the seven of hearts, I check, the opponent bets 17,000. I know he can have a wide range of hands. He might be trying to push me around. It's still another good opportunity to fold, but again, I don't. There's a decent chance he has air here or a hand that can't call a raise. I'm not sure what gets into me, but I decide I'm gonna rep a set. I shove for just over 80,000 more. He goes deep into the tank, then lays it down. I would never recommend for anyone to do this. You don't wanna bluff the big stack at your table with such little equity when cold. I just felt like pulling the trigger and got lucky, it worked out. I went a few more hands after that to get my stack up over 180,000. It sounds like a lot, but it still makes me the second smallest stack at the table. Then I lose several hands in a row right before the level's over. We're on dinner break, I'm really short. Got my stack up to 180K, then lost a few. Lost a few hands, uh, in this one hand in particular, the button opened up to 7K. I three bet to 18K from the small blind with Ace-King Ace King offsuit. The button called, the 
flop came ace jack nine with two spades. I had no spade in my hand, and the ace was a club, I believe. I bet 16K. He raises to 35K. I call. The turn is a four of spades, so the flush draw gets there. I check. He shoves. Here he is, actually. This guy. Um, nothing I could really do. I folded down to 54K right now. And we're about 400 away from the money. Been in this situation before. Uh, maybe I can run it up again. Coming back from dinner. Got a 54, uh, 54K, gonna have to shove real quick. Gonna have to double up at least once. What's up, man? He's gonna triple up first hand. <laughs> first hand back. I hope so. The break ends. We come into level 14 really short this time. The blinds are 2,000, 4,000 with 500 annies. 400 people need to bust before the money. My stack is quickly diminishing. After less than one orbit, I'm down to 45,000 and see pocket threes on the button. The cutoff opens to 9K. He probably is opening with a wide range. I'm losing 25% of my stack every orbit and I have to make a move at some point. I shove, hoping that I'm in a situation where I'm flipping or maybe the cutoff will fold a big percentage of his opening range since he doesn't have a big stack either and may want to avoid taking risks that close to the money. That's not the case though. He tank calls with queen nine of hearts. We're off to the races. I have my hand. Put in the better shape. I'm trying my absolute best to die in this thing, but I just don't quite know how. We get the double up and our stack increases to 95,000. I win a few little ones, then get king jack of spades in the big blind. The big stack, who I bluffed earlier with pocket deuces, opens from under the gun plus one to 10,000. It folds to me and I make the call. The flop comes 10, eight, six with two spades. I check and there's nothing I wanna do more than get it all in here, but I don't get the chance as my opponent checks back. The turn is the three of spades, giving us the second nuts. I check again, and he checks back again. He's starting to piss me off a little. The river is a jack. I throw out 22,000 into a pot of 28,500. I wanna make it seem like I'm bluffing as a short stack and just really need to win this pot. He tanks for quite a while before tossing in some chips. I turn over the hand and win. I'm pretty sure he called extremely light, maybe even with a hand like ace high. The stack is up to 145,000. The blinds and annies eat away at it quickly though, before it's down to 124,000, and I'm in the small blind with ace queen offsuit. It folds to the button, he opens to 9,000. We're just a few hundred spots away from the money here. It's 15,000 for a min cash. Folding seems a little too nitty though. I'm likely way ahead of this player's range. This is the same guy who opened the cutoff with queen nine suited and called my shove. I don't want a three bet and get called and have to play out of position either. This is also the same opponent who called my three bet when I had ace king offsuit in the small blind. He raised me on the flop, then shoved the turn, forcing me to make a big lay down. As I said before, I'm probably way ahead of his range. We're close to the money. I'm happy just to take this pot down now. I shove for 30 big blinds, expecting to take it down without a fight. The player on my left folds, the button snap calls. Here's what happened. The flop comes 10, nine, seven. That's not gonna do it. The turn is a king, giving us four more outs. Any ace or jack is gonna give us the win. Again, our tournament life is on the line with one card to go. Do we have any more magic left in the tank? Boom. Just like that, we get sent home. After three long days of playing, we're out a few hours short of the money. That's it, man. 10K down the drain. <laughs> 220 away from the money. Probably would have occurred uh, next level.
That one hurts. That's it for the episode, and that's it for the main event run. A little bit heartbreaking to bust there at the end, close to the money. Still would have had to play maybe a few more hours, but uh, it's been a dream of mine since I was about 14 or 15 to cash in the main event. I guess we're going to have to postpone that dream for at least another year. It was an awesome experience though. I'm glad I got to document it and I'm glad I got to share it with you. Thanks to everybody who, uh, who sent out uh, comments on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram rooting me on. That was something that was really special to me. So thanks to everybody for all the support. I hope that uh, you guys you guys enjoyed it and maybe you got to feel like you played the main event right along with me um, Let's do it again next year. All right. Good luck at the tables guys